It's snowing again. Oh, why does this keep happening? I can't get you out of my mind. Hey YouTube family, what is up? So as you guys can see, it snowed again. And y'all know how I feel about the snow. Not excited about it, but who cares? Not worried about the snow. I'm semi worried about the snow because tomorrow I start orientation for my job. Finally. Like, I feel like it's taken forever to get to this point. All the back and forth emails because Human Resources is working from home. And so I got to go drop off paperwork to their office and then wait for them to go back to their office to get the paperwork to then tell me that they got the paper. It's like, it's been a lot. So, we have finally come to the point where I'm actually going to like see some people, talk to some people, learn something more about this job and actually start this job. So, sorry the air fryer was on and it was just loud and getting on my nerves. But tomorrow I start orientation. So they sent me an email saying that the attire is business casual. Um... The only thing that was a little funny was like they were, the instruction starts at 9.30 sharp, but for the next two weeks, we're going to be having orientation and it starts from 8 to 5. So it's kind of up in the air for me as to whether or not I'm supposed to show up tomorrow at 8 or wait until 9.30 when they say that the instruction starts. So I don't know. I'm just going to show up at 8 o'clock. Like, the worst they could tell me is that, hey, you're early. You can go back home and come back at 9.15, maybe. So, whatever. So, I said all that to say. That was just like a whole lot of rambling. But in this video, you're going to come with me as I get ready for orientation. So, I got to get out an outfit, a business casual outfit. Do something to my hair because this ain't it. Um... Make sure that I have everything for the boys all situated and ready so that tomorrow we can just get right on the grind. Everybody is showered, clean. Sir, Theo, sweetheart, you dropping grapes, baby. Just everywhere. That's what plates are for. Get a plate. So, yeah. We're getting ready for my job orientation. I am so excited. If you couldn't already tell. All right, welcome to my closet. That's crazy. I at one point had way more clothes than you. And I have no idea what I'm going to wear. Oh, uh, definitely not anything from here down because that's all dresses and stuff, and it's cold. Um, business casual. Don't need suits and such. Even though I could do this just with a pair of pants instead of the skirt that I have it paired with. But then shoes. Or I could do these pants with a black shirt and then I have the burgundy blazer to go with it. But then are these pants like businessy? Or am I just overthinking it? It's probably option B. Um, I really like this shirt. I'm trying to separate it. A white tee. A pair of black pants. And I definitely don't want to wear this, well not those pants, <laughs> those are summer, but wear this because I feel like I've worn this like a lot of interview stuff already, so we're going to put that outfit back. <sighs> See what shoes I'm working with first and we'll go from there. All right. 
This is my second closet with like all my shoes and such. Booties, booties. Focus. More booties, but with a heel. Ooh, what are you? These are like boots, those are for jeans. Uh, these are like tall boots. Uh, black boots, like the fuzzy ones that tie up like the little balls on the front. And more brown boots. Uh, with fur and such, no. Um, so I'm guessing those black boots over there in the corner are going to be it. So, now I just need to build up. And this was the little burgundy blazer I was telling y'all about that could go with those other pants. But again, are those other pants businessy? Like, what is business casual? Can somebody tell me that? What is business casual? Like, pick a struggle. Okay, so now we're in like our deep, dark dungeon of a basement because I decided on the white shirt with the, I don't know what print that is, leopard, cheetah, whatever print little tie at the collar. I decided on that shirt with a pair of black pants with those tall black boots. But upon further inspection, I noticed that there was like two small ink stains on the white shirt. So we're in the basement because that's where the washer and dryer are so that I can soak the shirt, wash the shirt, and hopefully have those stains out by tomorrow. Yay. I'm glad I noticed it tonight that I was able to fix it tonight because if I would have noticed it in the morning, I would have, I feel like it would have just threw everything off and then I would have tried to find a whole new outfit and that would have took more time, but I'm rambling. Let me just wash the shirt. washer. I'm going to go drop off Theo's blanket and his sheets. Does anybody know how to fit fold fitted sheets? Anybody? Like anybody? Because I just gave up. It's about to go in his bed. It's no point in trying to fold this. Um, But then I'm going to get in the shower to wash my hair because it's, it's about time. Like it's, it's, it's time. So yes. Now we're on to Step two, stage two, step two of the process of getting ready for tomorrow, wash my hair so that I can figure out how I'm gonna style my hair for tomorrow. Uh, All right, so I just finished washing my hair, moisturized my hair, blow dried my hair, and now it's just like really thick, like it looks mad crazy. Like I have a bun up top bun in the back and it is just so thick like oh 
having thick hair is a blessing and a curse. But now I'm trying to decide whether I want to just braid it all down and wear a wig or do I want to break out the flat iron and try to flat iron it and go from there. I really don't feel like flat ironing it, but then something in my spirit is telling me that like because I separated it, it'll go really fast. But I feel like that's the devil. So I don't know. So right now we're just going to leave it like this. Well, I go downstairs and get the my shirt out of the washer and go put it in the dryer. So that way, by the time I decide on what I'm going to do with my hair situation, it'll be dry and ready to be ironed and hung up and ready for tomorrow. And then I can also finish making my lunch for tomorrow because I did like batch cook some uh, crab cakes earlier today. But then I saw like this salad, I guess you can call it. It was just, it was a really simple salad. It was just tomatoes and cucumbers and like heavily seasoned. Like it just looks so good with olive oil. So I'm going to go make that after I put the clothes in the dryer while I try to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. I just put my salad in the refrigerator. Um, it looks so good. Like I can't wait until it's had time to sit in the refrigerator and everything to just mellow out and all the seasoning and just, I'm so excited. Okay, so crab cakes check, salad to go on the side check. So that way come lunchtime, I don't have to worry about it I already have it made out in a nice big batch um still haven't decided on what to do with my hair like i look like cindy lou who from the grinch but deep inside like i really want to straighten it because i just feel like it's so thick like especially in the center like there's no way it's going to go into any sort of nice sort of sleek ponytail of any kind this way. I'm going to have to straighten it. Oh, You know how many years it's been since I've straightened my hair? Where is a perm when you need one? Good morning. 5.30 Oh, why are the lights so bright? Here we go, here we go again 
trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be you till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you As you can see, I put my hair in a bun last night. Went through all that, washing it, blow drying it, just to slap some gel in it and put it up in a bun. Because even after I straightened it, it wasn't straight. So to avoid putting more heat on it, heat damage, all that, slap it up in a bun. So yeah. And I don't know why I lined my lips. Like, I was going to put on lipstick because I'm going to be wearing a mask the whole time. So, it don't even matter. Like, where's my chapstick? But okay. I am all ready to go. Now it's time to go wake up the boys. So, I'm here. 15 minutes early. Um, again, still not really sure on whether or not... I'm supposed to be here right now or wait until 9.30. Excuse me. Do you know where door 11 is? I'm sorry. Door 11? Door 11 is on the other side. Okay. Thank you. Are you in processing? Yes, ma'am. To CYS? Yes. Okay. Come, I have the key. Okay. Yeah. This door is right here. Uh, it might be open, but I got to see. Okay. Come on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Gotta go. And I'm home. <laughs> so, I was early. Um, thankfully, it wasn't just me. Another girl showed up at the same time. So, the lady told us to come back at 9.30. She doesn't know why. There's like another agency, NAF, that we're supposed to go see first. And then once we finish seeing NAF, then NAF sends us over to her office where we're supposed to be at 9.30. But she said NAF hasn't worked in their office since March, since the pandemic. They've been working from home. So she doesn't know why they told us to show up at 8 when we weren't supposed to be there till 9.30. So now I'm back home waiting for an hour. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. But whatever. I'm starting work and I would just like to say to all of the housewives out there, like stay at home moms, y'all are the salt of the earth. Like I'm just going to say it. And if nothing else... These couple of years that I have spent as a stay-at-home mom until Theo was old enough to go to school, I have learned that I am not worthy to walk in y'all's ranks. I am not about this life. Like, you have to just be made of something strong inside, and I don't got it. I don't got it. Being a stay-at-home mom is not for the faint of heart. Like, you can't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom because it's work, okay? It is work all day, all night. It is work. God bless and keep each and every one of y'all, but I can't do it, and, and I'm out. <laughs> I bow out gracefully. I'm out. But, okay, ending this vlog while I figure out what to do with myself for an hour, please make sure you like comment and subscribe please 
and thank you. Like I use my manners. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Can I take you there?